Hello, YouTubers. L-D-R-M-A-S Cosplay here. Yo. So, I got done with my Loot Crate video, and I had so much energy, I wanted to go ahead and jump right into the Batman video, I promised y'all. So, uh, I've been on vacation because of school. Yes. So, moving on from that, I've been watching, I've been watching Nostalgia Critic, like a lot. A lot, a lot. And... I what what I've been watching mainly was his dumbass I think he called the dumbasses in distress. You could check the video here. <laughs> and uh on his his top 10 it was his top 11 list of the dumbasses in distress. And what he listed I, I believe it was number 8 or 8 or 7 was Robin. And it actually got me to thinking of Robin and I've never seen a top 10 Robin list. And I'm not talking about the char the characters who've played Robin or the voice actors who've done Robin. No, I'm talking about the Robins themselves, like Damien by himself or Nightwing by himself. So I figured, you know what? I might as I wanted to do a top top eleven. No, I didn't want to do a top eleven because I felt like I was going to be ripping off the nostalgia critic, which I don't want to do. I love his videos. I love him. He's a great person. If you if you haven't heard of Nostalgia Pig or that guy with the glasses, please go check him out here or uh, in the link below. So, yes, I'm going to do, so I'm just going to do a top 10 Robin list. Here's the thing. I know a lot of people don't like Robin. I know some people love Robin. Here's my rules of what's a, what is considered to be a Robin. One is basically the partner of Batman. He helps Batman. He does he knows the gadgets. He, you know, he helps he helps Batman in any way possible. And number 2, he knows all the gadgets. Like he knows them from backwards to forwards so he can do, you know, do the crime fighting, doing all that stuff. And number 3, knows Bruce Wayne's identity. Number 4, wearing the Robin costume. And finally, just for being Robin. Being Robin-ish. How about that? <laughs> All right, so I guess let's just go ahead and get into it. So this is my top 10 list of the top 10 Robins. Number 10, Terry McGinnis. Oh my God, Terry McGinnis. <laughs> so Terry McGinnis is from the Batman Beyond series. So with Terry, I'm breaking my, I'm breaking my rule. I, it, it's just that I cannot see him as Batman. I know, I know he is Batman in a form. I get that. But at the same time, he's doing Batman when Bruce is alive himself. And from what I've seen, I have, I must admit right now, I have not seen Batman Beyond all the way. I've seen a couple of episodes. So what I've seen is that he works as Batman through Bruce. So that, to me, that qualifies as Robin. Also, Terry is actually the son of Batman, which is just like, which is just like Damien, who we will get to later. He, ah, he's, he's. He's the son of Batman. What more do you want? How can he not? How could that not be Robinish? Even the Batman Beyond suit looks like Nightwing's from Batman Forever. He took off the he took off the Nightwing symbol and put bat and put a bat symbol on it. That's all I see. And I could be wrong. I could be totally confused about the character. That's just me. Comment below and say, hey, you're wrong. He's totally Batman. And I will, I will agree to disagree with you. So, Terry McGinnis, great kid, great Robin. Enough said. Moving on. Number nine. Our number nine spot goes to Miss Helen Wayne, which I believe the best representation of Helen Wayne is in the Birds of Prey series, which was a live action series. And it sh featured Helen Wayne, or I think in... I think in that series she was Helena, but it was Helen Wayne, Helena Wayne, Oracle, grown up War Oracle, and Black Canary's daughter. So, and I'm not breaking the rule with her. I know she does be eventually become she becomes uh, Huntress in the DCAU universe and in the comic books and everything like that. But there is actually a small part of the regular Batman comics where she actually wears. A Robin costume. 
So, yes, she is technically a Robin, and she's also related to Batman. She's the she's the daughter of Batman. In the smallest part of the series where she's uh, Robin, she's the son, or she's the daughter of Catwoman and the daughter of Batman. She knows Bruce. She knows that he's Batman, and she just dons the costume before she goes off to become Huntress. So, our number 10 spot totally goes to her. And because it's Helen Wayne and she's awesome. And again, if you haven't seen Birds of Prey, you totally need to check it out. So, Helen Wayne, a kitty Robin, if you, if you might say so. <laughs> number 8, Stephanie Brown. Mainly coming out in 2004 and in issue 126, Stephanie Brown is technically taking over after Tim Drake dies or um not i'm so sorry not dies hangs up the cape after his father figures out that he's become robin so she takes over and this is before she becomes her character spoiler so she so she's our robin and you know it's just cool the other thing is, is that i don't know much about her because i haven't seen her in one of the animated movies yet i've only seen her as listed in the comic books i know my friend sam he knows a lot about stephanie brown and says a lot about her and talks about her a lot but i still know very little about her i'm not going to talk much about her other than she comes after tim she becomes spoiler later and which i've heard is a really kick-ass character and i've heard that she the way she becomes spoiler is that she gets captured by black mask and dies in the hospital with batman beside her and then becomes spoiler after um, batman finds a medicine uh, medicine or a serum to bring her back to life so for then she's our robin and just a spunky little girl that i don't know much about 